All right, so we are on our way to pick up our next foster, although this one is the, um, is an interesting one. So this little guy is about 13 weeks old and he was bit by a rattlesnake here in Texas and his owners were unable, his owners were unable to pay for the anti-venom. So we are gonna go and, and foster him and, and work with the group to um, nurse him back to health and we're gonna take you along with us on the journey. You got two treatments of that. Yeah, and then, um, so it's right here. Yeah. And, uh... So just that one side? Yeah, that I think that was bad. Cool. Yeah, it looks... Yeah, I saw the pictures. Like, the pictures were... He yeah, looked, you couldn't see his eyes. Oh, they were so really? And we have a new addition. So since he won't eat with peanut butter, we're going to have to just give it to him um, a little more directly. Come here, bug. All right, so we want to be careful of his nose because that's where his bite is. So we're just going to go on the side of his mouth so the bite is not. And, oh, nope. <laughs> You're going to be tricky. Okay, come here. It's okay. There we go. Good job. Good job. Here's a piece of kibble. Hey, little man. Here's a piece of kibble. Oh, poor guy. He's probably in some pain. All right, so now we're going to do the panicker. This stuff is bitter, so this is just going to have to be interesting. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna make sure it's coming out. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oops. Oh. Um, all right, well. A little for the dog, a little for the carpet. Oh, I'm sorry, bug. Okay, ready? Get it in the back. There we go. Okay, right. a lot messier than we thought. That's okay. I right, got yeah, most of it. Ready, let's wipe this off your face. Let's wipe this off your face. There you go. This can make you feel all better. This can make you feel all better. Alright, so we are about to run into Tomlinson's. It's a local food, um, dog food pet store. And we're gonna go find some new dog food for our fosters. We just are looking for some recommendations. I mean, there are so many food options. It's so difficult to decide which one, but, um, you know. For humans, diet is really important, so it's definitely important for dogs as well. Alright, so we just finished up with the pet food store, and we picked out a good medium, uh, medium to high quality brand that had some grain. And so now we are off to get some canned chicken and white rice for the little puppy, uh, because obviously all the medication and the bike, the snake bite, Venom, is upsetting his stomach. We need to grab it up here. So now we're at H-E-B, the best grocery store of all time. All right, let's go check on the little one. Hi, Sleepy. Hi. Look at that. He's so tired. You had a lot to drink earlier. Do you want to go for a quick potty before the rain comes, huh? Oh, little man. Oh, little man. Say hello. Come here. Oh, little one. All right, you ready? Okay, come for a quick potty. Stay inside, Benny. There you go. 
There you go. So it's the first time we're gonna feed little ones. So we have low sodium <clears throat> chicken breast. Um, I mixed it in a batch of white rice uh, with uh, the juice from the chicken breast. And there's just a little bit of kibble in here left over from earlier that was softened and some of the rice. And we'll see how the little guy takes to it. Come on, little one. Come here. There he is. There, let's see if he eats. Oh, good job, bud. Good job. It's okay. Go ahead and eat. All right. <laughs> um, so we just gave him his last round of medication for the night. And we actually just both woke up from a nap. We were kind of cuddling on the couch over here. But uh, right now we're going to let him go outside. The rain, it was raining and it's recently stopped. So we're going to go outside, let him just go to the potty real quick, stretch his legs, um, get him tired for the rest of the evening so that he sleeps well tonight, but you can tell the pain meds are really, are really setting in and his, his snake bite is, that looks really painful. So we're just trying to take it easy, trying to make sure that he's comfortable and um, just really excited to see and watch his recovery um, and eventually help find him his forever home, which is really exciting. And just wanna thank you for following along on this journey and supporting this little guy. Um, he's super, super sweet. So, thanks again. <laughs>